Imagine, a 62-year-old executive attends rock and roll fantasy camp to celebrate retirement after his 38-year career. An unexpected friendship forms with two people from very different worlds, a world-renowned bass player and a business executive. I think unexpected is always interesting, right? So when I first met Tanya at Rock and Roll Fantasy Camp, I was so blown away by the skills that she has to get people with very average musical skills like me to work with people that never met and try new things in a very aggressive way and get incredible results in a very short amount of time. It's like, wow, I've been trying to do that my whole career. A big theme for us is just how juxtaposed we are and how I guess the outside world would view us and never think that these two people could be in a room together or find a conversation with common ground. It's a really fun interaction between two very different worlds to see how hard we both work just on different parallel universes. That mix of a little bit country, a little bit rock and roll, like the whole intro, all of that was so much fun and it was just at a whole new level and a whole different way of, of telling two stories that were very different from each other, but really come in and meld together and you can see how they really complement each other and hit really what an audience as a whole needs to hear and wants to hear. And then, I mean, what's more fun than getting to watch two people get up and play music at the end of the day? Everyone on the outside sees the lights, the rock and roll and the huge crowds we play to because of who we play with and thinks wow she must have made it but in fact I'm in the making and one of the great things I've learned from Tanya is that she has mastered her craft her craft isn't that she's just a great bass player she's a great performer a great bandmate she juggles multiple gigs all over the world and then she chases down every lead and she puts herself out there. She is incredible. And it almost tells people that leaders don't have to look a particular way. And it's okay to look different, it's okay to have different experiences, and definitely okay to own it. And that's what I saw on the stage. It was intriguing from the get-go. It was an unconventional perspective on leadership. They got you off what I call autopilot thinking, that you had to watch and listen because you just wanted to see where it was going to go and how it's going to tie in. I talked to everybody, asking questions, telling my story, asking about gigs. Networks of people brim with opportunity. And it's our ability to interact with a multitude of personalities in a variety of social settings is what can lead us to our next gig, job, relationship, friendship, opportunity. I was really amazed at how the two sectors, so to speak, really have a lot in common. You know, I was so intrigued about the speaking world, but I never thought about just telling my story. And until somebody says to you, your story is so interesting, you don't see it. So many stories of grit and drive and determination and failure and perseverance that you hear her story and you hear me translate it in ways that you can apply it today. That's what people love. It's easy to understand the skill, but it's hard to do it when the pressure's tough or you're tired, you're running out of money like Tanya, or you just want to postpone that conversation. It's not a hard skill to understand, it's, it's hard to do. So the rehearsal is in doing it, not understanding it. There is something for everybody, and that's completely unique in what you see in a keynote speaker at any type of event. You either have the artist or you have the business person, that typical box, and they both hit and they meld together, and it's just, it's so cool, just so cool. And here we are. Somebody gave this bass player a podium. You guys must be nuts. <laughs> if this whole process was easy and I never had to struggle, I would not be here. It's the challenge and the process that brings you where you need to get. Struggle is good. Failure cannot cope with persistence. If it was easy, everybody would do it. <laughs>